So I'm starting off with a general energy read, and I'm using the Gypsy Witch, Witch deck for that. So we've got the book over here. So you might be doing a, a lot of paperwork. You might be doing some study at this particular moment. Uh, it looks like uh, this. you've got the um, Jack of Hearts, which is like the um, uh, Knight of Cups. So this is about working, studying. Uh, you've got your head in the books, really, at this particular moment. You've been dealing with a lot of problems over here. It seems like whatever you've invested in, uh, you know, uh, whatever you've put your time and effort in has not really paid off. There might have been some kind of crisis that you were dealing with as well. Um, it looks like whatever problems you have, uh, the flames are burning away, so whatever issues that were going on, they seem to be dying off or they will resolve themselves. You are getting, uh, you know, a sense of stability coming in there, some good news coming in over there, but you're also finding a lot of solutions to problems that you have been going through. So you're getting the answers to it. The key is there. Um, whatever, uh, you know, maybe you have to ask people around you for um, answers, and this is going to be the thing that you need. Um, that input that you get is going to be the thing that sorts out the problems that you've been going through. Now, in the past, you've got that rose over there together with that nine of spades, so a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. Whatever you've been working on seemed to be good, but there's been a lot of problems. It's been a bit rocky or a bit thorny uh, with whatever you've been dealing with. Some kind of news has come in that's been very startling for you, that's caused a, a lot of issues. Uh, there's been, you know, it's been a bit of uh, the news that has come in has been a little bit upsetting, but it's also been very enlightening as well because the, the lightning shines the light uh, for an instant on the situation. So you have seen, you've had a moment of clarity there, uh, but you have been dealing with a lot of issues or maybe a little bit of a crisis there as well. So going into the future, you've got um, the bedle medal card over here um, this is talking about getting a lot of accolades uh, a lot of recognition for whatever you have been working on so whatever job you've been doing there's been some recognition that will be coming in you still uh, will be facing a, a lot of problems a lot of obstacles maybe feeling a little trapped in that particular job with the eight of so, uh, spades there this is about a, a lot of anxiety maybe expecting that worst case scenario but having to deal with a lot of problems you've got the mountain over there it's going to take a lot of hard work and effort uh, and then you'll be able to sort through these particular problems so those are the energies for those two weeks oops so i'm going to be using the wheel of the year tarot for the main read Okay, so you've got the two of wands over here. So you have a choice or a decision to make. Uh, you know, it's all about work and about what you want to invest in. So you can stay put um, and continue with whatever you're doing or, the, or you can move on. So there's a lot of communication coming in and you are putting a lot of effort into what you're doing. You're trying to build something up over there. But the choice is how you proceed further. So you're at the crossroads in your life about whether to take this thing internationally or whether to just keep going where you are at. Either way, it looks like this beanstalk is growing, so you will have growth either way, but there will be a decision that you have to make about whether or not you want to travel off and you want to do this particular job somewhere else. And it looks like it's a new project that you have started quite recently over there, so you are working pretty hard at it at this particular moment. You've got that Ace of Wands, and this is about the Two of Wands working and putting a lot of effort and energy into it. You might have somebody that you've gone into partnership with as well with this uh, Two of Wands. Now, what's going on? You've got the uh, Ten of Swords. So quite a crisis that you've reached in your life. You've ended an old situation, laid it to rest. You can see this woman right at the grave site over there, so putting the past to rest. There might have been legal issues that you had to sort through there. Uh, there might have been, you know, whatever it is that you've had to end has liberated you from that situation. And you've gone in your own path. Um, you know, you're working independently now, and you are now starting to work for yourself and generate finances for yourself. So not considering anybody else anymore. There's some kind of separation. You've left that old job behind, laid it to rest. Maybe there was a lot of conflict that was involved in it. And whatever you're doing now, whatever independence you have now, however you're working now, you're much happier now. And it is starting to generate finances as well with that Empress card. So um, you've got the Seven of Swords over here. So everybody around you that you were working for was quite uh, 
nasty really there's a lot of backbiting a lot of gossip that went on uh, you know behind your back people sabotaging your efforts over there so a lot of lies deception and uh, you know people um, not looking out for your interests there uh, doing things behind your back a lot of things going on behind the scenes so there was a lot of conflict conflict uh, a lot of deception going on over there and you might have been dealing with a really nasty energy over here you've got that knight of swords it looks like you cut ties with these people as well there might have been legal issues that you had to deal with official issues but whoever you were dealing with it could have been an air sign person so leo um, uh, libra uh, aquarius or uh, um, gemini energy coming through there but whoever this person was, they caused a lot of problems. Uh, you know, they were nasty. They had a lot of nasty things to say, and they were very, very aggressive as well. So that is the energy. You can see there was a lot of gossip. They stirred up a lot of problems, and maybe they were instrumental in causing you to actually even leave that circumstance. So they had a lot to say, and it was really, really nasty. So you had to walk away from the situation. You had to dump things and really move on, pack your bags and go. Uh, you know, even though you had put a lot of time and investment into this particular project it seems like you had to leave uh, you know in a hurry you had to leave and you may have started off something brand new uh, worked on your own project now started off something brand new over there and you're working on that at this particular moment so going into the future you've got this um, four of wands so stability coming in over here this is about group working with groups of people networking as well and celebrating news that comes in as well uh, you know it might feel as though it's very temporary you've got this uh, house up in the tree but actually you are building you know you're putting down roots at the moment and you're getting some stability coming in over there so there's some good news and there will be a lot of networking uh, a lot of communication maybe a lot uh, with a lot of people on the international front but working with a group of people there you've got the high priestess over there so you do need to go and do some research do some further learning and also keep whatever you're doing to yourself it's very important for you to uh, do that research and uh, maybe there's a decision also pending as well there with that high priestess uh, but she's got this book open over here so it looks like you do, do need to do some research about what you're doing at this particular moment or even some further study you've got the six of pentacles so money is coming in over there there might be somebody that decides to invest in you uh, or you might get some kind of payoff that comes in with that six of pentacles over there maybe the job that you're doing will give you that financial rewards that you want you're very determined. You may, be want, you may want to be signing new contracts as well. There might be even some legal issues that you're trying to sort out as well. So there's some kind of decision that you might be waiting for uh, with that King of Swords. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, the World card, and the Seven of Cups. So the Ace of Pentacles, new money, new jobs, new opportunity coming in. So definitely uh, focus on the coin, but new money coming in. And it might be coming in from that international front. Now, the World card is ruled by Saturn. This is about work. So new money coming in, and it might involve international travel, meeting a lot of people, and being more global. And that's going to bring in the money there. So you have a lot of options available for you. You need to make a choice, and the choice can only be made by making, by doing a lot of research. So a lot of, um, you know, um, in investigation into what possibilities there are, and there's also that need not to procrastinate. You're a bit confused at the moment, but you need to, uh, you know, stop procrastinating. Put your efforts, pick uh, something that you want to do. Put your efforts into it and go for it. So I'm going to draw some cards from the uh, fairy tale for the. Um, Oracle read. So you've got the two of summer here. So this is about um, a relationship coming in for you. So maybe there's a business offer, a business partnership that comes in for you. A really good offer coming in. Somebody that is there to give you that helping hand with that two of summer. You've got the five of autumn. So uh, reach out to others for assistance and maybe poor timing for a career change feeling challenged by money issues so you are feeling a bit poverty stricken over there there might be a feeling of loss and you do need to ask for some help um, if you do have some financial problems going on you've got the awakening card over there this is about sitting and waiting for something to happen um, change the way you're looking at the situation embrace your uniqueness a temporary pause in action so things are a little bit at a standstill right now maybe as soon as this relationship comes in or this partnership or some kind of advice that comes in for you is going to maybe shift things and move you out of that feeling of lack but for the moment you are waiting for something to come in there and it looks like it will come in there there's some information that is missing you do need to do some research especially um, you know you've got that uh, high priestess so be well researched up 
go and look into things, investigate first before making big decisions there. And pick something and do it. Make a choice. Stop procrastinating and get going with things, really. <laughs> so best of luck. I hope this reading has resonated with you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.